Hi Davy. It's a beautiful springtime day here in the land of Michigania. I don't know what the weather is doing over there in Europa, in England, but I hope it's doing this. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about my idea, right? Okay, so here's the deal. So, we're super far apart, right, right? Well, what did I do when I was super far apart from people who were here, because I was over there? I used YouTube and would make stupid videos and show them my various dumb stuff I was up to, and uh, that worked really good, pretty good. So I figure we can do that. Except here's the thing. We've both been feeling really crappy and we're not doing so hot right now. Um, and that's too bad, but we could be doing better. And I will tell you how, by way of this challenge that I'm setting for you, Davey, I'm gonna do videos with a challenge and give you a challenge and then you have to do a video where you do the challenge and then post it and give me a challenge and we'll do that one. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll figure out the details later. But anyway, so this is my thought. This is that we can challenge each other to do stuff. It'll be like the old days when we used to do stuff together, but we'll be doing it together from lots of thousands of miles away instead of together like we used to do them. Um, but yeah, so that was my thought. So remember I told you about how, look at, this is the terrarium I was telling you about. I mean, it's actually an old aquarium. You can kind of see where there used to be like a filter and whatever. But anyway, anyway, so I did this and I, actually that was supposed to be the bottom, wasn't it? Oh no, the other bottom was even worse. Yay. Okay, whatever. Um, yay. So anyway, so I found this old, old aquarium and I've got a cheap piece of like, um, that stuff acrylic. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I got it from Menards and I super glued it to this and then I sealed it with silicone and I fixed the seals on here with more silicone and I made a giant mess and I have to actually go and get a razor blade because I have to fix the giant mess I made, but whatever. Then there is going to be all dirt and rocks and whatever. And then this is going to be the stuff and it'll make it kind of like the tranquility garden because I 3d printed some things. I'll probably do a few more. I'm going to start with these to make sure enough room because I'll make a little hill of dirt and that guy can sit on top of that and I'll make this go up to something. I don't know, whatever. Maybe there'll be another hill and that'll be on. I don't, I don't know, whatever. And then this corner, I'm going to make a water feature with a little pump and, and it'll like start in the corner there and go around in a circle and then this can go over the thing because it's a bridge. And that's what bridges do. Anyway, whatever. It's going to look cool. It's going to be a mini tiny gardens of tranquility. There's not a lot of vertical space in this the way that I have it because I wanted more space this way to work with. So it'll probably have to all be mosses and really like low plants. But I'm cool with that. It's still going to look cool. It's going to be great and cool. So my challenge to you is going to be like a terrarium, but because I know you don't have a ton of space in your apartment and like me, you don't have a ton of money and don't have random shit lying around or a 3D printer lying around or whatever. Um, this is going to be, this is my challenge to you. Okay, so this is the moss propagation chamber. You can see I even wrote that on it. I'm going to put some stickers on here too. I feel like that's an important part of any moss propagation chamber. So yours should definitely include stickers. You just got to go over to Poundland and pick up a thing like this, a little, you know, a little tub, little plastic tub that seals. And it's supposed to be one with a clear top, but I couldn't find one with a clear top. So I used extra silicone to make, make this have a clear top that it doesn't normally have. But you don't have to be that um, thingy about it. You can just do... Just get one with a clear lid already from Poundland, and I bet they'll have them probably. And they'll have stickers, and you can get stickers. Um, anyway, and then the other thing that you can get for free is moss to go in it and stuff. And this is actually, I'm going to show you how I will put this in here. Um, this is the results of today's trip to a public park where I absconded with some of their moss and a piece of bark and a rock. Um, Hopefully that wasn't the most horrible thing in the world to do, but it was just little tiny. So, you know, you only take a pinch at a time from anywhere that you take moss from. But look how good that my moss looks. Um, and I will link you to all the stuff to how to do this because I got all this information on how to do this from 
Serpa Design, who is also on YouTube, and he's very good um, and talented and lots of good info. And you can kind of sort of see how there's like a false bottom in there with rocks and water. It's hard because there's a lot of condensation. I think I put too much water in it. Oops. Um, yeah. Anyway, so today we're going to add in the friends that I brought home. Except for I have to rinse these first and I forgot that step. Um, and I didn't rinse them before I brought this out. So I'll have to do that part in a minute. Uh, but I can at least do this part, which is going to be the part where I put... Wait, I should rinse this stuff too. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to do a jump cut, aren't I? I think I'm going to have to do a jump cut, Davy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be back in a minute. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm back. That was fast. Okay, so I rinsed all these things because that's important to minimize all of the bad things that you could possibly introduce to your tiny, tiny ecosystem. And so here I have a bunch of moss that I collected. And you just do, you can get moss anywhere. It's everywhere. It was all over and it'll be all over there, trust me, because the UK is like Michigan, where it's wet a lot, and just, there's just moss, look at, holy yard is moss, look at all that, it's crazy, I got, this all came from my yard, and the stuff I picked up today, all came from the park, I used to do a little pinch, and then, and then flatten all the stuff back onto, so that you're not really disturbing, and you're just taking a little pinch, and look at the underside of this, Look at all the little buggly trails under this totally sweet bark with all this lichen. Um, so I just picked up a little piece. And then what I'm going to do is make... Okay, I got a couple of little... And they're just resting on it, so they're flat. I like this stuff that looks like... I don't know, it's got little leafy bits, little ivy bits. It's like... I don't know, it's real slick. It's pretty slick. Okay, move all that stuff over, and I've created a little area where there's just not a bunch of moss under here. I'm pretty sure it requires light and can't just live underneath a piece of bark. Um, oh, this bark is big. Uh, okay, we'll move this guy too, and then we'll just, we'll just, we'll just move everything. There, we'll just, <laughs> there. Alright, here's Mr. Bark, and we'll set him up like... Sorry, I suck at doing stuff with one hand and filming with the other. You can kind of see what I'm doing, right? Right, sure. Oh no, I moved my moss. Look at how pretty this one is. It's like ivy, but tiny. I don't know what any of these kinds of mosses are. Like, you would have to ask Serpa Design or other cool people that do stuff that know what moss is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bury part of it. Wow, that's a great idea. Me. Thanks, me. I know that I'm cool. Um, by which I mean I'm, I'm actually really not cool, but that's okay because we're just going to do this there. Okay, and then we're going to shove the dirt. Oh no, I got dirt on my moss that I rinsed so carefully so that it would look really nice. <laughs> okay, cool. There, and then we'll put moss here so it will have lichen and, and also moss because who doesn't want that? Only, only dumb people don't want that. Alright, so here's this kind of moss growing like this. Wait, did I have any of that kind of moss I picked up? Yes. Okay, so then I'll take this piece that also came from the park. And this piece that is actually on its own little tiny piece of bark. This one, this is the bark piece. Okay. The bark piece right here. And it'll be like we're repairing this piece of bark. Kind of. Is this focusing? This is not focusing. There, focus. Okay. Sorry, the lighting is weird because, of course, I'm doing this at the time of day where the light is the most dumb because, again, I'm just not a very professional film person. Maybe that can be a challenge for another day where we try to make a film that doesn't suck. Um, and that'll be cool. Okay, so this piece. See, this kind of has them little tiny leaves, those little, little fronds, kind of. Front, fronds, fronds. Oh, here. Focus on it. There. See the little things? Alright. So we'll do... Alright, these are these fun... These ones look almost like seaweedy. This will be the seaweedy bits corner over here. 
for this CBD stuff. There's a new patch of CBD looking, looking friend. I'm gonna turn that over. This one is kind of, I don't know, but it's like almost got brown in it. It's just sort of pretty. Oh, that's more CBD stuff that goes over there. Over there is where CBD goes. Uh, so this is this. This is, I think, this. Okay, so that can go there. You don't have to put it where it's all by its friends because it doesn't care. It's moss. It will grow wherever. I'm gonna put this rock here um, just because I liked it and it was cool. It had a bunch. Look, at, it has a bunch of, um, what do you call that stuff? Quartz. It has a bunch of quartz in it. And when the light catches it, it does look sparkly. That's how I found it. And we'll put it. Actually, oh, you know what we'll do is we'll put it where we can have it be holding the. This is my. Uh, I used this for a barrier between my stuff and the um, thing, the false bottom, uh, which you're supposed to use like screen. But see, this is another thing where if you, like me, and I know you are, are a person who maybe doesn't have a lot of money right now, ever, you can use things that are cheaper than screen, like this thing that you get to put in a hay basket for plants. Okay, this is kind of that CBD stuff, I think, again, more. Alright, so we'll put him here. Get how happy he is. Alright, and this stuff is just really fine, and I just got a big thing of goo on it. Okay, here we go. Look at that's just pretty. It's really soft. Um, so this, this is more of my frond. My frond friend. My friend who is a frond. I got a lot of this stuff. But it's pretty, look. It's pretty. I like it. Okay. Cool. So, big patch of pretty. Big patch of whatever that friend is there, and then a little corner dedicated to all my little bits of seaweed dilly stuff. Um, is this more seaweedly stuff? I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's pretty too. That's really pretty. I really like that. I hope I grow a lot of that. Well, I'm not gonna grow much more of anything if I pack this. To just it's okay. Just let it happen. All right. Cool. So then I'll put. All the soft stuff right here in this little piece. I should be spreading it out so it has can grow more because I would like it to grow more and I put some of it in there. But I don't know, this is pretty like this is a thing and I like it now a lot. This is my baby garden for a little oh you can hear my dog barking. <laughs> I put him in the backyard and he's so mad because <laughs> he's not up here in the front yard with a me doing whatever I'm doing because God forbid he miss out on anything on earth that makes him so sad like he cannot tolerate missing out on anything ever um and he is convinced that I I need him on me at all times right right up my bum um I mean he's not wrong I kind of do we're sort of codependent it's a little unhealthy, but he's so cute. Um, he's such a bastard, but he's so cute, and I love him so much. Uh, and him, his bastard had its BT dubs, 100% my fault, uh, for spoiling him absolutely rotten. Um, just in case you were wondering about that, don't, don't wonder. You don't need to wonder. It was me. It was me the whole time. All right, I'm putting my pretty frondy. Oh, I love this stuff. I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's great. It's so great, Davy. It's so great. Okay, there we go. There, I did it. I did it, Davy. I planted it. I, I planted all of the moss. I'm going to try and get this to the folk. Why is it so... Why is it so... Okay, here we go. But no, that didn't help. That didn't even help. That didn't even help. Why didn't it help? All right, but this... Here it is, Davy. Here's... It's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. And you can do this. You can do this on the cheap like mostly even kind of basically for free most of it a lot of it go to the dollar store oops let's turn it around so you can see let's see how it says moss propagation chamber when you're at the at the poundland get stickers i expect to see stickers 
a newer moss propagation chamber. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. This is the, the fun part of the challenge, Davey, is we're gonna go over here where, see all these little rock? Oh, dad might let me make a terrarium out of that, which I think is so cool. Look at how cool. We've had that for a lot of years. It's a very big bottle. Anyway, whatever. See these things? We're gonna pick them up because I bet there's isopods underneath. Um, here in Michigan, isopods are usually called pill bugs, uh, but probably by you, they use, I guess, their other name, I bet, Roly Polies, which I think is the cutest name. These are little eggs of something. Look at that. Look at the little eggs. I wonder what those are eggs of. Right, I don't know, but we should leave them there to hatch because there's no Roly Polies slash pill bugs slash isopods underneath this rock. Okay, hatch eggs. Cool. Oh, what the heck is this? So sometimes just random stuff that's garbage blows in the wind. Um, there, 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 there. I'll check it later. It's in the driveway now. Okay. Ugh. Oh, look. This is a reject from a squirrel's stash. This is a root that got smooshed. More eggs. There's more little eggs. That's cool. But there's no ice pods under here. So they're not under these right now. I, probably because it's probably it's too cold for them to be under there yet. Look at all the moss, though. See all the moss? You can do that. But, look what we, oh God, listen to him. He's such a crybaby. My dog is, is literally the best. Oh, was that a nice pod? Uh, I saw a crawling something. All right. No. You're gonna, but you're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. You're gonna have a fun time. I had fun. It was really fun making this. This is a rock brick thing. That's a bucket. I don't know why my dad has a bucket over here. Whatever, this is a pallet. Do you know what's gonna be under here? Like a buttload of ice pods. Um, Cause if not, I'm gonna be like mega surprised. It's early in the season, but I mean, I saw some at the park, which I could have picked up, um, but I don't think I could have gotten them to stay anywhere useful. Um. Wow, we're just, we're coming up empty. This is what the underside of a pallet looks like. Oh, there's an ice pod. There's just, just one whole entire ice. Okay, hang on, don't worry. Don't worry, I got this. This is my one-handed one ice pod catching technique. And my spoiled dog is over there somewhere in that fence yard having a shit fit because he's not in on whatever I'm doing. Um, Let's find a little stick. I need a third hand that I don't possess. Wow, that's that's a noisy car. You should get that checked out, guy. Um, ah, please don't fall on me, palette, because you're very dirty. Um, okay, so wait. All right, that can go there. I'm gonna use my hand to pick up this stick. Okay, I have a tiny stick. There he is. All right. Wow, trying to look through the viewfinder instead of through my eyes. He's not really excited. Okay, give me a sec. He's not very excited about that. I guess I really can't blame him. I'm kind of agitating him. Come on, buddy. Pack out. There. Okay. Uh, fall into my hand. Uh. There, he got him. I dropped him. He'll be okay, but if I could find him again, that would be cool. <clears throat> Where did he fall? Come here, tiny friend. All I want is to be your friend and have you live in my wonderland of moss that I made basically for you. I mean, mostly for me, but for you. Like, I'll share. I'm nice. It's a great habitat. Nothing will ever eat you. And I'll feed you stuff. What do you want? I got I got stuff. I'll feed you stuff. You want dead leaves? Look at all these dead freaking leaves. You can have that. Wow. Okay, Davy, I dropped it and then I lost it. It was only one ice pod. I was hoping to find like five that we could put in there. All right, whatever. That'll be a different video. Okay. But we're gonna do that. I'm gonna make. I'm holding you to this. You have ice pods in England. 
I know this. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at See? Here's more moss. Look at See? Oh, focus, please, camera. Thank you. Look at how there's so much moss. And you don't have to take, like, you don't have to hurt the environment. You just take a little pinch of it up and you smooth it down. And it's like, it's like you never took any. It's all fine. But it's everywhere. And you can do it. And you just have to turn stuff over to look for isopods. This is our driveway. Hey, wait, let me go grab that piece of trash I chuffed over here. Okay, I'll go throw that away. But anyway. So, yeah. So this is your challenge. You're going to make one of these. And you can keep it in your windowsill. It has to be one that seals like this. See how there's condensation? Because it's got that false bottom there. There's water in there. And then it makes the water cycle but little. Okay, so that's how it works. You just gotta watch the videos that I'll link you from the guy who actually knows the stuff about this stuff. Um, I don't know, I learned it from him. Um, but yeah, oh shoot, I have to fix that seal. Why is it such a butt? Whatever, anyway. Um, I sealed it with uh, that stuff because I was already using it for this project, so I had it lying around. So you can make use, you can make use of stuff. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be. It just has to do the same thing and work. Um, so if you find a one of these that just has a clear lid, you don't even have to do this part. You don't even have to do this slipshot ass job I did because you'll have one with a clear lid that you can get from Poundland. I got this from the dollar store. I just couldn't find a clear lid one, so I made it. See, you can make do. All right, I am going to try really hard to get an actual good shot. Of, look at, see how pretty that is? You can do that in your house for you. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, Davey, trust me. Um, let me just clean off the rock. There. Look at that. That's slick. That's slick, Davey. It has a rock. It has a piece of bark. I mean, it's beautiful. And there's like a bazillion, uh, probably at least five kinds of moss in there. I don't know. What do I look like? some kind of moss expert yeah so anyway this is your challenge you're gonna make a moss propagation chamber um i do expect stickers somewhere in the lid that's part of your challenge uh, i'm gonna put some on here and you can see them when i do a further video of catching ice pods to live in here and you will also be expected to do that but we'll do that later when the weather it's more more spring more spring than it is now here so, yeah, so this is your challenge. Make one of these. I'll link you to videos from the other YouTube guy who taught me how to do this. It, he didn't, I mean, he didn't teach me directly, but the, whatever. Those videos, I will link them. You will do this. Thingy with the locky lid, clear lid, stickers. Okay, and you get pea pebbles. If your ma'am still has the stuff from when her and your dad used to do all the gardening, you don't even have to pay anything for any You can just filch it from them. Does mom still garden in pots? She'll let you filch stuff. Just take things from her with the pebbles. And then you have to have a... You have to have this. I know your parents used to use it. You have to put that in between the pebbles and the dirt. So that the dirt doesn't get into your pebbles. The pebbles are the false bottom, okay? So you can just do that. And just, mom will let you do that. And then you can get dirt, either if they have dirt, or you can probably get it out of the ground. Um, you know, the ground has dirt. There's dirt there. The ground's made of dirt. So then you do that. I mean, my dirt is made of different stuff. Um, but whatever, we're just, I'm not even going to go over that right now. Because again, I will link you the videos that taught me all of this. But then all you have to do is get some moss. You have to rinse it so that it's not covered in a bunch of weird stuff. And so that hopefully there's slightly less things that can infest all of this and make your tiny habitat be sad. Um, yeah. Enclosed thing. Water cycle. Little. Uh, dirt. And then you get moss. And you put moss in it. And then put it in your windowsill. Um, yeah. And then video it. And show it to me. And then you have to make up a challenge for me. And do your own video of my challenge for me. And do it. And post it. Uh, and this is our project now. This is our life project of 
this is how we'll do stuff together from now on because we're not together together but we can still do cool stuff um and yeah so that's what we're doing this is your challenge do that i gotta throw this away do that that's your challenge that's what i'm gonna make you do uh and you have space to put that in your windowsill and you can go to Poundland and get that thing and so you have all the stuff and no excuses so i expect that video and you have two weeks i will give you a time limit just because otherwise i know you're going to procrastinate and i'm not going to let you so two weeks from the time that you see this video of me yammering at you you're going to do that and you're going to make a video and then you're going to post it and yeah cool have fun challenge accepted